What do you mean? You're not going to time out. This is prison. I know that. How can I go to prison for a crime I didn't do? Everybody says you did. You are the killer. You know what happened. And it is between you and God. You're gonna go to hell. Obviously, we are not strangers mm -hmm. anymore. Um, just want to make sure before we start talking again that the rights that Captain Piscatello read to you, you still remember those and those are still in effect. Are you still willing to talk to us? Okay. Well, <clears throat> we've come to a uh, pretty crucial point. Um, you remember when you were talking to us earlier outside of the vehicle? And I told you that um, all your friends are going to turn against you. That happened. Every single one of them. And that's the point where we're at. So without your statement now, you're in with the big boys. Without my statement? Mm -hmm. you mean? Without you telling us your side and what actually happened, things look very bad. And like we've told you all along, we're not here to hurt you. We're not here to do anything bad to you. What did they say happened? What did they say happened? You want me to go through it step by step? Okay. Please correct me if I leave some things out. This is both of them? Absolutely. And this is 100%. Five of you are in a car. You, Hope, Brandon, Eric, Danny. You called Cato because you needed some pills. You're bad off right now. You guys go. You need Cato. Pull up next to him by FPO. You have the gun. Pull up next to Cato's car. You get out to go get your drugs and you shoot him in the face. You. You shot him in the face. So I didn't. Is that what Hope said too? Absolutely. I can't see the statements. They're on video, honey. There's no writing. They are video recorded just like this one. I wouldn't lie to you. I've seen them right in something. No, ma'am. He told me that too. He told you what? That they were writing something out. No, ma'am. There is nothing written. It's all on video and all on audio. And that's what they said. Are you a cold-blooded killer? No, not at all. Did something happen? To make that happen? I didn't do it. What's your story? I told you. You didn't. You know what happened. And if everybody else is lying, please tell me. I am begging you for your life. Tell me. I didn't do it. Who did? I don't know. What do you know? I don't know why they would say it was me. Right now, all we've got to go off is because it was you. It wasn't. 
we get that gun from Eric here in a few minutes, we're going to know by DNA who it was. That won't be a secret. Do you realize what we're talking about right now? What if we told you all along? <clears throat> tell the truth. To tell the truth. That is the only way. Because you guys put yourself in some bad shit. You did. There, there's no sugarcoating that anymore. Dude got shot in the face. And right now, you're the shooter. Unless you tell me different. Your life, your entire life is in your hands right now. I can't believe this. I didn't do it. Who did? Was it Brandon? I don't know. Why don't you know? Because I wasn't there. Like I told him, he said they have evidence um, regarding my food stamp card. I've had the same one for six months. Hope tells us you just got a new one. And I can prove that I didn't. I can prove that I didn't order one. I can prove that. Why would she say that then? I don't know. She said she's been with you when you traded your food stamps for drugs. That you are a drug addict and you are strung out. Do I look strung out? Comes in all shapes and sizes. Well, If all these people are lying, tell me what is the truth. They're all strung out, too. Yeah, they are. The difference between them and you is they've told us a story. We are far past I don't know and nothing happened. Far past that. I'm not going to confess to something I didn't do. Okay, I wouldn't ask you to. But what I would ask you to do is for that man, that drug dealer, his children, who are never going to have a father again, you need to tell the truth. For that mom of his who is sitting at home crying because somebody shot her son in the face and left him to die, you need to tell the truth. Nobody's asking you to confess to something you didn't do. But what I'm telling you and what I'm being honest with you about is everybody points to you. And if you don't tell us anything, that's all we have to assume is that you are the shooter and you killed that man and you shot him in the face and left him there to die. That's not true, and I can prove that, right? No. You can't prove that I didn't do it? So what am I supposed to do? What do you think you need to do? I didn't do it. And y'all are telling me I'm going to go down for something that I didn't do. Your best bet right now is to tell us everything you do know, if you aren't the shooter. Because I've got to be honest with you, I am so tired of being lied to and getting these bullshit stories when that man is sitting in a freezer right now with a bullet hole in his face over drugs. 
and people who wanted to rob him for his drugs. If you aren't the shooter, there's still a murderer out there somewhere, and we need to know that. You can either tell us or not. At this point, it really doesn't matter. The only person who you would be helping is you. And if you don't want to help yourself, you don't have to. I do. I just don't know how. Did you make the phone call from Hope's house last night? No. Who did? I don't know. Like I said, I had my food stamp card. I didn't do any type of deal. That just doesn't make any sense. It makes perfect sense. People do it every day. I know, but not me. I didn't do that. What does Hope have to gain by saying that you did that? Nothing. Not a thing. She's putting herself in a vehicle with you, buying drugs. That's going to get her in trouble. That's going to get her kid taken away. What does she have to gain from that? Nothing. Nothing at all. And the more we sit here and talk, talking to you, bold face lying, that's scary. You know why? Because that means you are a scary, dangerous person. I'm not, though. Not at all. I'm a very nice, kind person. And I would never do that. It could have all been an accident. But right now, we don't know that. From what we know, it was far from an accident. Unless you tell us different. Do you think we wouldn't be sitting here for this many hours because we didn't want to hear what you have to say? I don't know how many times I can say you have your whole life ahead of you. And what you say today? All I can say is that I didn't do it. Okay. Who did? I don't know. If you had to pick somebody, who would you think? I have to pick somebody. No. I'm asking your opinion. I would hope none of them would kill somebody. Somebody did. Rebecca, damn it, I'm fucking tired of playing games with you, okay? I'm fucking done with this, all right? I'm not going around in circles with you any fucking more. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. You were there. You were fucking there at that scene when that man got shot in the face, and you know you were. Now, weren't you? No. Yes, you were. No, you made the phone call to Cato. No, you I bought didn't. drugs from Cato in the past. Am I right about that? Let's start there. I have, yes. Thank you. That's the road we need to start going down. We're not coming in here I going round and round with you. No, listen to me. We're not going in, we're not coming in here going round and round with you and keep going in this circle, because that's all we're doing. We know what we know. Alright? And when you sit here and lie to us. It makes yourself look even worse and worse and worse and worse. And right now, it can't get much worse. Right now, I've got a witness that puts you putting a bullet in a man's face. Premeditated. You know what that is? That's capital murder. You know what you get for that? The death penalty. Do you understand how serious this is right now? This is a crime surface presentation. Are you kind of getting it now? I didn't do it. Who did? I don't know. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You were in the car when it happened. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. You made the phone call to Cato because no. you bought drugs from him before. How do you think your family's going to feel when we tell them that you're a murderer? They're not going to believe it. They should. Why? I'm not. What are you then? Right now, you're pretty cold-blooded. Why? I didn't do it. You damn sure know who did then. And right now, we don't have anybody that says you didn't do it. Right now, 
You're the one that has bought drugs from Cato in the past. You're the one that knows his phone number. You're the one that knows how to get a hold of him. You're so the one. They. You're the one. Listen so to me. Do they. Listen to me. You're the one who called because it was a white girl named Rebecca. Okay, I know that for a fact because his girlfriend listened to the phone call when you called. And she you're will one, hear your voice again. You're the one sleeping in the bedroom where the gun is stored. See where I'm going here? Everything points to you. In fact, I got people telling me that you're the one that pulled the trigger. I didn't. Then who did? I don't know. Was it your boyfriend and you want to protect him? No. Was it you and you don't want to go to prison for the rest of your life? No, it wasn't me. He didn't shoot himself. How do you think it's going to feel to live the rest of your life with a murder on your shoulders? Knowing you didn't tell the truth while that man lays and rots in the ground. And that's on your shoulders. Seems like there's not much I can say because... There's plenty you can say. I promise yeah. you that. Plenty. Everybody else has. Everybody else has a conscience. I do too. Apparently not. You don't even care. I do care. Apparently not. You're not showing it right now. Do you have a dad? Your dad's still around? How would you feel if somebody shot him in the face and killed him? Huh? How would you feel? I know. You know, his kids won't even get to see him one more time because his face is blown apart. They won't even be able to say bye. They get to talk to the dirt. Are you ready to get this off your shoulders like everybody else has? This is bullshit because Brandon said it was me and then Hope found out and said it was me too. And so if I don't implicate somebody, it's making me look bad. But I don't know. They haven't talked. They haven't seen each other. I know, but every, I ask you all for the truth, and every time I ask you, you tell me. Yeah. And we ask you for the truth, and every time you give us crap. Are we really going to go around in a circle again? The same circle we've been around 12 times already? Yes, because that's the truth. No, it's not. You know damn good well it's not the truth. According to y'all, everybody in your house was in bed by 11 o'clock. Right? Everybody in that house was in bed by 11 o'clock. Yeah. So, what Rebecca called him from your goddamn house phone number at 12, 18 a.m.? That's not my house, and I don't know. But you were there, that's what I'm saying. And I was asleep, I told you that. According to everybody else, everybody was other than the people that have told us the truth. What are you scared of? I'm in trouble for something I didn't do. Okay, what else? Because we're not 12. What do you mean? You're not going to time out. This is prison. I know that. How can I go to prison for a crime I didn't do? Everybody says you did. He said, she said. Oh, no, it's a lot more than that. evidence and statements and sworn statements under oath that you are the killer. But I'm not. Rebecca, you know what happened. And it is between you and God. You're going to go to hell. I'm going to go to hell. 
because you know what happened. We would be very, very glad to help you get this off your shoulders or not. All we've asked from the beginning is for honesty. Nothing more, nothing less. And so far, everybody else has been cooperative. Is what they're telling us honest? We have no reason to believe not right now. Unless there's something you can tell us that's different. Rebecca, for the love of everything, just tell us what happened. I know you were there. All right? We're, I, I'm not asking you if you were there. I know you were. I wasn't. Who was there? I don't know. If, if you're worried about ratting on your friends, it's too late for that. They, they've already ratted on you, okay? If that's what you're worried about. Is that, is that what you're worried about? Is that you're not a rat type thing? Me and Hope and the baby and probably there at the house asleep. Like I told y'all earlier, I didn't see Brandon much. And if he left, I don't know. Did Brandon ask you to set up some drugs for him? Eric? Did you want drugs for yourself? You set up drugs for somebody. This is a crime circus presentation. That's not a question. That's a statement. You did that. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. So. I gotta tell you, sitting here talking to you is breaking my heart. And let me tell you why. You are about the only decent person out of this entire group of people. I know. And do you realize that every single one of them has made you out to be a monster? Every single Just one. one. No. That's what the detective told me. No, that's not true. Detective Sanders and I have talked to everybody. Nobody else has been in these interviews. Talking about your captain? He hasn't been in the interviews, he's been with you. I am not by any means asking you to tell me anything that you did not do. And I told you. I know you don't want to get in trouble. Nobody does. Because I didn't do anything. If you didn't do anything, Rebecca, look at me. If you did not do anything, you would not be sitting right there. And you know that. They didn't kill me. Okay, but you made a phone call. When we let that man's girlfriend hear your voice, she's going to tell us that it was you on that phone. And we know that. We know that. And I do not want to make you look like a liar on top of all of this. I don't. Because you aren't a bad person. These people that you're hanging out with are bad people. 
-hmm. And they put you in a bad, bad spot. What did I tell you from the beginning? Rebecca, I've been doing this for a long time. A long time. And I know how this goes. I know how the drug world goes. Yeah. They're going to prey on the weak one, and the weak one is you. I know. So I'm the only one getting in trouble, and I didn't even do anything. I really hoped it wouldn't be this way. What am I supposed to say? I didn't do it. Okay. I wasn't there. Okay. You did trade that man your food stamps two weeks ago. No, I didn't. I've had my card. Yeah, I can prove it. Yeah, I swear, I promise you. I can't believe anything you say. I know, but I can prove it. Are you okay with having this whole situation on your conscience for the rest of your life? No, not at all. I can't say this person did this and this person did that because I don't know. And I would hate to, you know, I guess, to ruin my life. Yeah. They absolutely are without a blink of an eye. Rebecca, you've got to think about you. In your family. I'm tired. Me too. And I didn't do it. All of this way. All that's left is what actually happened. What happens now? Right this minute? Right this minute we're talking. I know, but what happens after we talk? We've got to all sit down, all the detectives, and figure out what the next step is. Am I taking me over there? When? I don't know. So I get taken over there and be charged for this. I don't know yet. I didn't do it. I wasn't there. I didn't go anywhere. You realize that if you didn't do it, just sitting in the car while a robbery happens, not nearly as bad as being accused of shooting somebody in the face. I know. I wasn't in the car. I didn't go anywhere. How am I going to be charged for something I did not do? Unfortunately, all your friends said you did. Who? Oh. You know who we have here. Rebecca, I have tried and tried and tried and try it again to make you see how important this is. I know, I do understand. I just don't know what to say. It's going to be really disappointing when we let Kato's girlfriend listen to your voice. And she says that's who was on the phone with him. That's not true. 
Um, and then when we show the witness, who is actually witness to the shooting, when we show him your picture, and he says, yeah, that's the girl. That's going to be really disappointing. It's not in the photo. How do you know? Because I didn't do it. That's how I know. You know? I don't know. I know. I know. If you truly did not do it, you know who did. There's no question about that. And I can't for the life of me figure out why you won't say anything. This is a crime circus presentation. Because I was asleep. How can I say? How can I say that somebody did something I don't know? I wish I could believe you don't know anything. I really, really do. Because you don't deserve what these people have put you through. You know, you weren't raised that way. No, I was not. I really am so sorry that they are doing this to you. And I wish, hope, wish, hope, wish, hope that you will think about yourself and help yourself out of this. If I need an attorney, why can I talk to them? If you don't want to talk anymore and you want an attorney, you can say that anytime. I know that, but when will I be able to talk to them? Whenever one's appointed to you or you get your own. It'll be like a few days. It depends. I so bad want to hear your story. Will you tell me? I did. You haven't told me anything. I told you what I know. I told you what I did. I told you. I told you. Have you ever been with Hope when she bought drugs? Yep. When was the last time? Okay. What'd she buy? I don't know. How did she pay for it? <laughs> she gets money in the chat and works and stuff. Okay, so with cash? Oh, is that what you meant? Mm -hmm. How about when was the last time before that? Um, Has she ever used anything other than cash, sex, anything in exchange for drugs? Just cash? And you owed her and Brad money today for drugs? No. Well, I, um, my friend came out of town last weekend, and on a weekend, we can all know what day, but I bought her uh, $50 to go to the fair and out to eat and stuff like that. She said she fronted you delighted. No. No. We share all the time. But you don't use drugs that much. I have been lately. But. No. About the same as you know it is. Can't talk to me. Why do you have to feel that you have to be dishonest? I don't get it. Because I don't want y'all to make me out to be this hardcore drug addict that's going to go kill somebody for, for drugs. I'm not that person. And I didn't do it. And I'm trying to explain that to you.
I don't want to stop talking to you, but I don't know what else I can do. What can I do? Whatever you think is right. I can't even think. Like, I... I, I... Um, Captain said that he was going to get me some towels off my back. Okay. I'm going to check on that. Hmm? I can check on that. Can you go check on that and then give me a second to think and then come back? Absolutely. I'll give you as much time as you need, okay? Just a few minutes because I need to take that and my back's killing me. Okay. I'll be right back. way I could sleep and then talk to you tomorrow. Is that possible? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. What tonight's the last time we're going to talk? I don't know. It's all up to Detective Sanders and Captain Piscatello. I'm just here to help. When you get a second, I'll be real quick. Okay. You can talk to him while I'm sitting here, right? You sure? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna come right back. Huh? I'm gonna come right back. Yeah. No. Why did you tell him it was me? Yeah, I know you weren't even there. Hey, I can't do that. No. Hope that's enough. Let's see. Are you ready to talk? Can I smoke a cigarette I'll tell you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me go find some. I think she's got I think she's got in the captain. Alright, give me just a second. Let me go find some, okay? okay. Alright, I'm looking a little slow. Back is her in view. Can you take medicine? Huh? You take medicine? Not being pregnant, I can't. I don't have much time. It's gonna be freezing. Probably is. <laughs> Hope you know Brandon did it. Tell him the truth. Well, he was, and he left. You know that. Well, that's a lie. He left. He did. Yeah, I know. We were there, and he left. He left, and I went to sleep, and so did you. And we went to sleep. So did I. Yeah, I know. I told him that. I don't know. I didn't see him till this morning. You know that. Neither did I. Not yet. I just want them to know it wasn't me. He was the only one that left. 
I told them it was him, and it was. Me and you were at the house. You know that I made that phone call and that he left and we didn't see him until this morning. Huh? I called them and Brandon left to go do it. Brandon said he was going to go get that shit, remember? Hope, I was at your house. And Brandon left. He left and I was still there. I told them you were. Yeah, I know. I didn't. You know I didn't do this. Yeah, because we didn't fucking do anything. We were at that fucking house and he knows it. But make sure you tell him the fucking truth. This is a kind presentation. We were there. You know that. I know. I finally did too. What? I know. They were trying to say that you said I did it. I said, no, she didn't. You're right. I can't. He's the only one that left. I know. Why? I told them I did, and I, I told them <clears throat> that I wasn't about to go. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because he told me to. Yeah, because my warrant. But that's not nothing. I'm not getting charged with this shit. Hey, can I go pay this? Yeah. Nicole. I think she was not. Hang on just a second, Hope. Are you coming in here? No. Oh. Okay. Hey, I have a question. Huh? I have a couple questions. Okay. Um, But I finally did the right thing. I'm glad you are too. I should have never made that call. I knew it. I knew it. I knew. That's why I was trying to be so, you know, because I didn't want. But look, I know you were scared, okay? I was scared. I know you were. It was all over your face, all right? Yeah. I've been doing this job since you were three years old, okay? I can read people. All right, I knew from minute one that you were lying to me. Right? And I just we couldn't get you to say it. All right, and I'm glad you finally did. And that that helps you a lot. Okay? It does. I mm -hmm. hope so. Yeah. I was worried. Every time people start telling the truth, it helps you. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad that we you got everybody down here. That's. That we're here. We ain't going did, nowhere. Did Eric tell mm -hmm. you what kind of person that he is, Brandon? I haven't talked to Eric. I didn't oh. talk to him, but Captain did. Yeah, he was at the house for a little bit. Um, I can't remember. He was there at the time. Did, um, when Brandon left, you knew he had to go? No. You know, okay, that's fine. Like I told them. Um, but you knew he was going to try to rob the guy. Yeah. So or, I'm going to get what? Whatever he's got. Okay. I said, and I know that I told her there was something I could have done. Should have. Because now, I can't believe this. Let me ask you this question. <laughs> what, what, if you weren't with him, and Hope wasn't with him, what girl was with him? Because there was a girl with him. He knows all types of people. See, I don't. Yeah, I'll give you that. Okay. But there's a very, very short time between when you made the call and when we got the number one call. Mm -hmm. There ain't time for him to run anywhere or pick up anybody. You understand what I'm saying? Unless it's like right along the way. You, you see what I'm saying? I do. So there was a girl in the car because our neighbor who came out after the shooting happened heard the girl scream, oh my God, or something to that effect. 
Okay. There, there was a girl there. Who in the world could that have been? If it wasn't you. Send me a hope in there. Um, if it wasn't you and it wasn't hope, the who, who was it? I mean, who, did he take the? Did he take that part? I don't know. Oh. I have no idea. The guy that saw the car, all he could see was high beams. He couldn't see anything about the car. I wonder if he had somebody to come pick him up because he doesn't have a license. <clears throat> would he have called that person before you made that call? He would have had to. Yeah. Because it was less than 20 minutes between when you made that call and when we got the 911 call. You, you know what I'm saying? He's a very secretive person. Like, I wouldn't know even if he did. You know what I mean? Interesting. Okay. Did he say anything to you like, you know, I got a ride, just make the call or something like that? Or how did I don't be honest with you. I was the only thing I did was make that call. Okay. And I honestly, like I told you from the beginning, mm -hmm. even when y'all were out there, I don't I didn't want anything to do with it. Okay. And so I didn't ask any questions, I didn't say I didn't say really much. Let me ask you a question. <clears throat> See, because now we're going to get into the evidence side of things, okay? A lot of stuff that we have right now, but stuff that we're going to get, and stuff we're going to prove, okay? You ever heard the term gunshot residue? Mm -hmm. When somebody shoots a gun, it leaves a cloud all over them that's, you know, gunshot residue. Um, your hair possibly, mm -hmm. is that going to have gunshot residue on it? No. Um, what was um, Brandon Ware? They asked me the same thing. I don't know. You don't remember? Okay. Mm -hmm. I think he had some type of hoodie. The gamma? Some type of hoodie. Okay. Or some jacket or something. Some kind of jacket. Yeah, and I just can't kind of chilly. remember. And I was so tired. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't. So whose idea was it to buy this drug, buy these drugs? How did this all start? I mean, he didn't all sit around the circle at all at the same time, but let's go buy some drugs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody had to say, let's go do this. Um, he had been talking about how he's like, oh, I'm so dope sick because he does meth every day. Mm -hmm. he's, he'll stay up all night. That's what he told us that. And I'm never a part of that. Mm -hmm. You can test me. I don't, I don't do that. Um, Just the occasional pill. Yeah. Okay. And... Like I told her, I've been trying to get my act clean. I was supposed to go to rehab. Mm -hmm. um, I wish. So did I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, We're both too tired, aren't we? I'm tired. Uh, you and me both. I've had five hours of sleep since Thursday night. I know. Okay. Yeah, Captain was telling me. So that we're we're for exhausted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. So you didn't see him leave. You saw him leave the door, but you didn't see what he left. Yeah, in. absolutely. Yeah, you didn't right. see what he left. In. He left. Last time you saw him, he was walking out the door. Correct. He's the only one that left from Hell's apartment. Um, Eric left a little bit before that. Um, but I didn't see anybody pull away. I didn't see no lights. Yeah, because I mean, the parking lot's on the back side of the apartment. You wouldn't yeah. see. Yeah. I know. I get that. <clears throat> The reason I didn't is because I didn't want to have nothing to do with the shit, you know what I mean? And I tell you what, I keep waiting on you, keep twirling out here and all of a sudden just pop off in your hand. Yeah, you everybody says, like, everybody makes that joke, but this isn't even like a nervous habit. I do it all the time. Yeah. Um, okay. Can I get a cigarette while we talk? Um, yeah, sure. We'll get you another cigarette. Uh, give me just one, one more second. I'll let you go smoke on that. Just, um, we, um, Brandon came back after this happened, right? Um, I'm assuming because whenever I woke up, he was there. Okay, but you didn't know he came back. No. Okay. And you were sleeping in the in the room in there. Yes. Okay. And where was he at when you woke up? He was in there too. He was sleeping in the room. 
at next year. Okay. <coughs> when did he leave? I can't remember. Just for I mean, lunchtime, breakfast time. Oh, today? Yeah. Yeah, today um, we, me, Hope, Brad, and the baby, mm -hmm. this was planned. We were going to go to Plaza today. Plaza, yeah. And he said he didn't want to go for some reason. So hey, did he go? No. Okay. Well, he, I thought he said he went, but he couldn't do it. He didn't okay. go. Maybe, maybe I misunderstood him. Okay. No, he didn't go. He said... Like we were all about to get in the car and he said, well, I'm just going to stay here. So Hope gave him the key to the house and um, we left. When we got back, he was gone. Okay. The door was unlocked. This is a crime circus presentation. Okay. Okay. Let me go uh, make the arrangements and I'll just come get you. Take you out for cigarettes. Okay. I guess um, I guess Nicole has your cigarettes and stuff. Yeah, she does. Okay. I'll, I'll find her. I like her too, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll let her take you out. Listen, we're both nice people. All right. I know, and I knew that, and I couldn't stand lying to you because I know you guys are so fucking dumb. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, you know what? Hey, listen, you've seen cop shows. You've seen the routine. It, it's all a routine. exactly. It's That's all a routine. What, yeah. It's all a all different methods of trying to get mm -hmm. the truth out of people and we tried just about every dag on one of them on you. Okay. I know. But everybody breaks after a while. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> took Eric, you took you longer than most. So is Eric telling the truth too? Um I'm not sure I haven't talked to Eric. What um, what is Eric's what's the truth with Eric? Um I didn't see him after he left. Okay. So if he said that if he said he went home then I'd believe it because I didn't see him. Okay. I I don't I don't know. I can't tell you like positive. Yeah. But <clears throat> what's your gut feeling about what happened after you made that call? I don't know, because like I said, like I told her he'd always brag about the stuff that he's done. Like bad stuff, you know? And I honestly I don't hang out with him like by myself because I don't that's why I told you I don't really associate with him a lot because I know and I can see the type of person he is. He would do something like that and I honestly didn't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you've seen him with a gun in the past? Which gun? That gun or a different gun? I don't know, when I see a gun, I don't really ask questions. But yeah, I understand that, but I mean, um, how long ago did you see him go? I'm not going to I'm not, I'm not tell you something I'm not sure about. That's fine. I mean, just a rough guess. I mean, a week, two weeks, a yeah. month, six months, three years. Uh, just a rough guess. I'm not asking you to tell me on April 12th or whatever, 2013. Week, week or so. Week or so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so you're trying to every answer one of my every I can't even talk answer every one of my questions with the exact perfect answer. Yeah, I know you don't know the exact date. You saw no. him, all right? I can't remember what I wore yesterday, which was, you know. So, okay, all right. Let me go. Um, I'll get. I'll find the call and I'll get her. To thank you so much. Okay. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, quit! Ho, oh, quit! I'm fucking bored. Me too. Yeah, I told him you wanted to smoke. They're gonna come get you. 
यहाँ वन हाँ नो शी डस आई थॉट टू लेट यू गेट वन Me too, girl. What are you doing? I'm hungry. Huh? They take you? Hey. I know that I'm still awake. It's been like 18 hours, but I've slept. Um, That's all I know. But uh, I don't know. Actually, I mean, I don't know. I'll do with the uh, Nicole. She's still with Nicole for this last year. She was up. What are you going to do with her? Um, can you tell her to come here, please? Absolutely. Do you have a blanket in here? I, we don't. As a matter of fact, in the fire department's closet, so. She got a jacket. You'll be all right. I'm freezing. Can you tell her to come here, please? I will. Excuse me? Okay, I have to pee. Okay, All right, you ready? Yeah, what are we doing? We are all done. Okay, can I pee first? Um, they'll let you go as soon as we get there. Try across the parking lot. There you go. Um, Detective Sanders is in the parking lot, and he will let you know when we're walking across, okay? Okay. 